Okay, welcome to this video. It's about the Jolly Cloud 1.0 operating system. It's running on top of Linux and it's using HTML5 to launch these applications and they're web apps, most of them. I think some might be actually on the uh, on the hard drive on this computer. It looks like you can install new apps directly to the the netbook, but I think the idea is to use, to make web apps look like um, just regular applications. Okay, anyhow, this is running on a Samsung N120, and this is what the desktop looks like when you get there. This is your launcher, I guess, and these are applications that I've installed. And um, if you, for example, click on one, it actually launches, uh, it goes to the website. Okay. Um, and you know, you can look up and down this window here. It's actually in a browser. I'm using Chromium. You can select different browsers too. So now to close this, I do Alt F4. Uh, let me make sure. Alt. Okay, I wasn't reaching to the F4 the right way. Okay. Um, and here's, uh, let's see if I can launch another one. Uh, let's see, this one here. Okay, and everything inside a browser, everything that works inside the browser works here. Like I'm using the control key to magnify it, the control and the plus key. Okay, but notice I can't um, start up a new, uh, I can't open up a new tab. Well, actually I could. Let's say, let's do control and then the tab, control T. Okay, yeah, you can actually open up another one. So let's say, uh, let's put here. Okay, so you can open up multiple tabs. Actually, it looks like it opened up a whole new web browser because see, um, right here, is the tweet meme and over here is this Tahitian Noni website so if I click on it again it opens it if I click on it again it closes it let's see what happens if I click on this icon here the tweet meme well I'm already there oh so these when you click on these it opens it up or it closes it and let's see can I launch multiple things let me uh, let me go to my first page because see down here I have a whole bunch of pages worth of applications that I've added so apparently these if you click on them it takes you deeper in uh, further down into the into your apps so let's launch this one and let's look up here okay up here it puts another icon okay so this is Justin TV now if I right click on it I imagine okay it lets me close it Okay, so if I go here, this is the Tahitian Noni website. Right click, and we close it. That's cool. And then here was, so when you click on these, it opens and closes them. So you can run, uh, do multitasking, and it looks like it does it very well. So let me start up a few more apps. Let's start up this one, and notice the icon will appear here once it opens. Uh, let's close it. Let's go and open uh, Flickr. Notice how fast the uh, page is open. Let's close that one. Notice they're all three running. And they're just web browsers, I guess. And let's go here, back here. And let's open uh, Live Plasma. I don't know what that is. One thing I like about it is the speed. And also I like the the different web apps that they have available. It's almost like the uh, iPhone Marketplace or it's like the iPhone uh, OS for your netbook. So I highly recommend it. I don't know what this is. It looks like movies. So I close that. So look, I have all these apps running and I guess I can use Alt-Tab to cycle through them. Let's see. Alt and then Tab. Hitting the tab. Okay, here's Tab. Okay, notice here it shows the same app, so you can get to them through Alt-Tab also. Okay, so let's open it there. Okay, yeah, so that works. Um, now to close these, 
all I have to do is click on Alt and then F4. So I just close that one, let's open this one, and I'm going to do Alt F4. Notice how it closes. This is the Alt F4. To press F4, okay, and here's uh, Flickr. Let's do Alt F4. So now all my apps are closed. If I want to, um, uh, if I want to add an app, I just go here to Add, and look, all these applications are at your fingertips. Look, these are the pages: one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Oh, it's actually five pages worth of apps, and each page has two, four, five, uh, ten. 10 applications. And I think there's even more than this because this is just education. See, if you go to all apps, watch how many. Let's see. Let's see what happens when I get to number 5 down here. Yeah, see, it keeps on moving over, so there's a lot of applications. And, and notice how fast the, the page changes. So if you have a netbook, prepare to see your netbook get faster. Boot time is nice and fast too. Okay, um, I'm sorry if you can't see these these um, thing these icons and that that well, but um, I'm just trying to do the best I can because I'm excited about this. Okay, now here's uh, enterprise type apps. See, and then to add a new app, all you do is click on Add. And you can click on as many as you want, and then what it looks like it does is it downloads uh, some information. I don't think it's downloading a whole application. It's just downloading the information it needs to start uh, the web browser. Okay. Uh, here's games. So let's say I want to uh, get Space Invaders. Um, I just click Add. And notice up here, how oh, this little guy appeared. And also it's saying, I guess that says we're accessing the cloud, the internet. Okay, up here you notice it has like a Wi-Fi information. Uh, over here it has your processor choices. You can change the speed. I have it on performance level. But you can also put it on power safe if you want to. That's if you're operating off your battery. And then over here, let's see what that is can't see it from here. Oh, it's like your preferences. Let's open that up. And that says show caps lock, show num lock, show scroll lock. That's what that also that's what that's about. Okay, so basically uh you know, you you can add all the different apps you want. You can start up as many as you want. And over here, this is how you get to this page by clicking this. I'm sorry, th this is how you get to the main page. You click here, and then if you click this, this is kind of like uh, communicating with other people. That I haven't used that, okay, so I'm not going to really mess with it. It looks like you can go up here and you can put in, like, let me put in Geek, and anyone who has Geek on their profile, their Jolly Call profile, it'll be found here. And then you can add them as friends, and you can follow them. So, like, let's see if I click here, Follow. takes a few seconds. Actually, no, it already followed them. And then over here, let's, let's follow uh, Aaron Brown. I'm following him. And apparently, as they add applications, it lets you see what apps that they like. And uh, I just don't know the full, ex full extent of you know how that works. So I'm following those two people. And I don't know what these numbers... Oh, these, this is the version of Jolly Cloud they have 1.0. Now notice down here it says Social Networks. If you click on this, it'll take you to your Facebook page if you've already logged in before. Okay? But actually, I don't know who this guy is. But it takes me to a Facebook page. <laughs> and I guess I can get to my home page if I click here. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, also here's Twitter. Click on this, it goes straight to the Twitter app. So there's different ways to get to your, you know, the different apps. Okay, so there's Twitter. I'm going to close it right here so that closes the whole browser. Notice I don't have any apps started here. It just says that I'm logged into the cloud here. That's all that means. 
Okay, now um, if I go back uh, to my main page, here's all my apps again. Um, I, I, they have a neat thing up here, this little search box. You can search uh, Jolly Cloud or you can search Google, but if you search Jolly Cloud, let's say you want to get to a, uh, a Flickr application that you've already installed, you just type in Flickr. Uh, let me take it off the caps. Okay, I'll type in Flickr like that. And notice it already found, uh, it says Quick App Launch right here. And you can click on Flipper, excuse me, Flickr. It's already there. <laughs> Flipper. <laughs> and then, or you can just search Jolly Cloud. Let's see what happens. Search Jolly Cloud. Notice it found Flickr, but it also found other applications that you can add to that main start page that, that do something with Flickr. Okay? So this search bar up here is really, really powerful. Okay, so let's see if I start knocking off uh, letters, if anything else appears. Okay, notice some other things appeared down here. Okay, so this is a very powerful uh, search box because it searches for apps and it also searches for, um, uh, it searches Google or it searches Jolly Cloud because it's supposed to be like a social operating system too where you can communicate with your friends. I just haven't gotten into that part yet but I'm, I'm uh, very impressed with the speed. I'm also very impressed with the amount and the ease by which you can get to the different applications that they put together, the web, app, web apps. Okay, now let me close this. I'm going to push escape. Okay, now over here is a folder and it lets you get to your folders. Okay, there's music, pictures, videos, and also apparently you can get to your Windows folders so you don't have to abandon your Windows folders. That's one thing that I think I was missing in the previous versions, but now you can access, you know, the pictures that you had on your Windows side because this installs under Windows. It's Jolly Cloud Express 1.0 uh, uh, and but, but it lets you access all those apps you used to have. Plus it lets you access these storage applications, uh, these web storage apps like Zumo Drive, Dropbox. Okay, and there's Dropbox. Okay, but I'm not going to go and access those right now. Okay, and then over here it gets into history of what you've done. Uh, what are your favorite apps? What's your device that you're using? Okay, and then here's a little bit more about the device. Here's my legacy applications. So these are actually things, I guess, that are installed on the hard drive. That's my guess. Now, let's see. If I click on calculator, let's see what happens. I like the way the bounce, too. Click it one time and look, look the calculator open. Now, let's see if I do Alt F4. Will it close? No, I think I have to um, close it like a regular app. Okay, so there it's closed. Now let me get back to the main page and then I'm going to kind of end this video. But I hope this has given you a flavor of, of um, and also encourage you to download and install Jolly Cloud 1.0 on your netbook. It'll make it run a lot faster. The boot up time is fast also. Okay, uh, the only thing, the only things that I'm a um, little lost on is I don't know how to change the brightness and this screen is pretty bright especially at night I would like to be able to lower the the backlight so if any of you know how to do that uh, please let me know below the, uh, on uh, in the comments area okay I'd, I'd, I'd be very grateful to you um, the other thing uh, I'd like to see is like I have a lot of function keys on this Samsung and I'm sure you do on your netbook and it would be nice if they had a special profile or if they could somehow discover that uh, these function keys that are specific uh, netbook specific or brand specific and if they could make those work or maybe they could just have profiles for a Samsung N120 KA06 US which is uh, what I think I have and that way um, I could change the speed or change the the backlight lighting but anyhow download it 
You'll like it. Take care. Bye.